All right, welcome to your practice. Please um, take a comfortable seat to um, prepare for pranayam and our, and our movement, asana practice. Uh, you can have your blocks handy and a cushion. Take a seat cross-legged, the uh, ankles and knees on opposite knees lined up. Take another moment to think about your spine being very vertical and upright. We'll practice uh, even length breathing to start. This is, um, we'll do six in, six out and then go from there. Do please do your best to count with me in your own mind. This is a great way to focus. And remember that when we practice even length breathing, our purpose is to make it as smooth a breath as possible so that the inhale is not rushed in the beginning and you're never holding your breath. You're just creating a smooth, regulated breath easeful in and out and we'll increase the length. We might go up eight, 10 or even 12 seconds. If you're more comfortable with uh, at any point or if you get uncomfortable, you just go down two seconds to find a comfortable rate for yourself. So just take a moment, make sure your body's relaxed. Breathe in not for your nose. Inhaling, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, six. Exhale, six. In six. Out six. If you can, inhale eight. Out eight. Inhale eight. Out eight. Inhale ten. Out ten. In 10, out 10, inhale 12, Out 12. Inhale 12. Out 12. Return to normal breathing. 
Notice it may naturally be a little slower. Feel any effect. Let's keep this slowness and start to just put a little bit of movement. Inhale, open your throat. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Full breath, complete the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms back behind you. Open your chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, tilt to your right. Keep breathing. Long, slow breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, second side. Inhale, arms up. Twist to your right. Long breathing. Keep a slow, steady breath. Inhale, arms up. Twist to your left. Inhale, arms up. And rock forward to tabletop pose. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, round your back. If you're getting bored, just count the length of your breath. Occupy your mind. Otherwise, be deeper in the feeling. So inhale, open the chest. And as you're inhaling, you're also opening into the pose more. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round your back. So let's go ahead and sit back, child's pose. Breathe here, a couple deep breaths. Try to slow the breath down. If you've got your blocks, you can go ahead and put your hands on them in front of you or just keep them on the ground and then walk your hands to your left. A little bit of a side stretch in our child's pose. Slow equanimous breathing. Walk your hands over to the second side. Back to center and pull your hips all the way forward onto your mat. Couple cobra postures. Point your toes, inhale, lift your spine, the upper spine. Exhale, lower down. Slow equanimous breathing. Inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, lower. Gotta feel those muscles converging into your spine. Inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift your spine. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes and push straight up into plank posture. Breathing here. You can put your knees down, but it's like a kneeling plank, not tabletop. And then push on back, downward facing dog. Breathe long and deep.
And then come back on down to tabletop and stretch your right arm to the sky. Turn your right knee up in the air. Right foot is flat on the floor. And then drop your right arm over your head, opening the right side ribs. Go ahead and make a windmill, place that right palm down. Inhale, lift up your left arm, place your left foot flat on the ground. Open the left arm overhead. Breathe. Smooth, equanimous breathing. Every pose, a long, equal breath. Roll it back down, tabletop. In one motion, inhale, extend your right hand and your left leg up. Exhale, touch those elbows and knees together underneath. And come back to neutral. Inhale, left hand and right leg up. Exhale, touch, slow, focused movement underneath. Complete your exhale, stay with it. I know we want to rush out of the pose. Back to tabletop. Stay with me. Inhale, right hand, inhaling left leg. Stay with the exhale. Complete the exhale. Touch underneath. All the air out. Back to tabletop. Left arm, right leg. Exhale, touch underneath. Complete the exhale. Touch back down. Very good. Tuck your toes and extend your legs, plank pose, or just walk your knees back until you feel the core engage. Breathe in here. Drop your right knee to the floor and turn your left toes out. So now your left leg is straight. Your left leg is straight and lift your left arm up. So it's like a baby side plank. Breathe. Take that left arm overhead and then place it back down. Let's come back to plank pose. Drop the left knee straight down. Turn the right toes out, side plank to the, side, to the right. Keep breathing, smooth, steady, continuous breath. Right arm overhead. Turn it back down, tabletop or plank pose. Let's go ahead, push on back, downward facing dog. Kind of mush your shoulders towards your feet. Walk your feet to the front of your mat and go ahead and find your yoga blocks on the front side of your mat. And now you're gonna step your left leg back and lower the left knee to the ground. If you need a blanket for your left knee, go ahead and place it there. Turn the blocks on the high setting and push down on the blocks as you look up at the sky. Low lunge. Good, from here, sit back a little bit, lift your right toes, runner stretch. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, runner stretch. We're very much in a flow yoga sort of experience. You're kind of making movement and the breath be together. If you have a slow breath, you have a slow movement. Low lunge. And now rock up, lift the left leg into the sky for standing splits. I'm going to hold this for three breath counts. Really keep your chest up. Good. Place the left foot down and step the right leg back. Low lunge. Put those blocks on high so you can lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, sit back, runner stretch. 
Inhale, lift your gaze, rock forward. Exhale, runner stretch. Inhale, lift your gaze. Now tuck your back toes, lift up, stretch that right leg high into the air. Three standing splits. And lower that leg down. Step your feet as wide as your yoga mat. Push down your blocks into flat back position. Draw your navel in when you exhale. Good, go ahead and turn your heels in and bend your knees, squat pose. You put your elbows on your thighs. Breathing in squat posture. Slow equanimous breathing today. Push down through your legs, roll up through your spine, standing posture. Bring your hands out in front, reach them up into the air. You're gonna press down through your feet slightly and shift the hips forward just a little bit. Open the front body here. Feel the stretch, elongation of the spine and your side ribs. Exhale, bow forward, hands on the blocks. Inhale, stretch forward, flat back. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog, hands can go on the ground. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower down. You go knees, chest, and chin if you want. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push all the way back. Downward facing dog. Push your right foot forward into lunge pose. This time you keep that back knee lifted. And just stabilize here a moment. Back knee is straight. Front knee is in lunge. Turn that left hand block so it's stable or put your left hand on the floor and open the right arm to the sky. Breathing here. Press solidly down through your front right foot. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's place both hands back down on our blocks and step back plank posture. Very good. Breathing. Press back downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Low lunge. So that right leg is straight now. You put the hands on the blocks or on the front knee or even on a coffee table ledge in front of you. Breathe here, smooth equanimous breathing. Inhale, turn the left arm up, pushing down through your right hand. We're twisting towards the front leg. Very good. When you're ready, you're going to frame that front foot and step back. Plank posture. All at once or staggered. Knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Squeeze your shoulders up and then back onto your spine. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Walk your feet forward. Inhale up, flat back pose. And let's turn our feet out, our toes out, and exhale, sit down, squat posture. 
Let your head hang or try to keep your spine upright. Either version is fine. Just breathe equanimously. And when we breathe equally, we are trying to lengthen both the inhale and the exhale. Testing that each and every breath. Press down through your feet and roll up through your spine. Inhale, arms to the sky. You're going to push down through your feet and gently push the hips forward slightly. Hold your right wrist and pull the arms and the body to your left. Inhale up, change the arms and pull to your right. Inhale, arms up. And then place your hands on the blocks. Step your left foot back. And you're going to turn the toes out slightly for warrior one legs. Try to get the whole foot down on the ground. Push your front knee over the heel. Root down through your feet and rise up to standing. Warrior one pose. You're going to join the hands over your head. And as you join the hands over your head, try to open your shoulder blades away from your ears. Open your shoulder blades away from your ears as you extend through warrior one. Good. Now straighten your front leg. Straighten your front leg. Keep balancing. Focus on pushing down through both feet evenly. And today we'll keep our arms out. We're going to go as far as we can with the arms extending out. Breathe. So focus on the balancing aspect. Arms are out. Your crown is always pointing at your hands. Breathe. And you might get all the way to uh, horizontal with the floor, or you may keep able to hang your head and point your hands to the floor. That's fine. Breathe. Stay with your balance. If your hands can touch the floor, you just touch with your finger tips, just your index fingers. I'm going to press back down through our feet. Use our core. Draw the core muscles in as you rise back up. Very good. And step out of the pose, mountain posture. So you only have to go as far as you wish, but we're going to take long, slow breaths, longer hold today. That should be a very active pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. Push down through your feet. And step your right leg back. You're going to turn the right foot out. Bending the front knee. Breathe. Push down through the feet. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one pose. Join the hands, point the index above your head. Good. Keep rooting down through the legs. Try to keep that back foot completely on the mat. And now let's straighten our front leg. So you can put the hands on the hips, you can put the hands on the legs, but we'll take a long, slow pyramid posture. More challenge is keep your crown pointing at your hands the whole time. Move with the pace of your breath. Slow. Good. 
Good. Push down through your feet. Draw your core in. Inhale, come back up. Bend your knee and step to mountain pose. Very good. Inhale, stretch your arms to the sky. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step both feet back, plank posture. Breathe in your plank. All at once, four staggered knees, then chest, then your chin. Inhale, cobra pose. Breathe here. If you can, extend your arms a little bit straighter in your cobra pose. Exhale, child's posture. Good. Come back through downward facing dog. And walk your feet to the front of your mat. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees, squat posture. Push down through your legs and roll up through your spine, mountain. Put the hands out in front today. Feet are parallel. Let's bend our knees, chair pose. Keep your knees and feet the same distance apart. Hover the heels and lower down further. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms up this time. Exhale, bend your knees, chair pose. Lift your heels slightly, bend the knees deeper. Inhale, push all the way up. Good, arms behind your back. You can interlace your hands or hold your elbows. Bend your knees, chair pose. Lift your heels, lower down even further. Inhale, push down, keep those heels up all the way up. Exhale, feet down. Let's step our left foot back, keep our hands bound in warrior one. It's called humble warrior. You're gonna bow, keep your warrior one legs, bow inside the right thigh, arms go to the sky. Inhale, lifting back up. Change your leg. You can change the webbing of your fingers. Right leg is back. Humble warrior. Warrior one stance. And then you bow, lift the knuckles. And you bow inside the left thigh. Inhale, come back up. Take a little longer stance, stay right here. Let's go right into our warrior two pose today. Take the fierceness of the warrior two out over the left uh, fingertips. Rooting down through our feet. Keep breathing equanimously. A steady, relaxed temperament in each pose. Put the left elbow on the left thigh, send the right hand overhead. And if you can today, you're gonna to reach your left hand down to the block on the low setting. Same thing, side angle pose still, just a little bit deeper.
Good. Put the right hand down and turn your feet, both feet, deck directly to the left. So it's like a side plank with your left leg is in like a lunge leg that turned left. Good. Hands down and step back, plank pose. Knees, chest and chin. Squeeze your shoulders on your back. Rise up, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push your right foot forward, warrior two. Looking out over the right fingertips. So this would be your second side. If it's not, just switch sides, please. Equanimous breathing keeps an equanimous temperament in your posture. Let's go ahead and hook our right elbow on our thigh, side angle pose. You can stay like this, or if you have the blocks and the mobility, put the right hand down, keep stretching the left arm forward. Keep breathing. Good, left hand down. You're gonna turn both toes, set the toes to the right and lift the right arm up, side plank, with the right foot stabilizing. Oh, nice on that front hip. Place the hands down, step back, plank pose. Lower down, knees, chest, and then chin. Inhale, cobra pose. Walk, see if you can stay up in the cobra pose, but lift your hands off the mat and extend your arms out in front, locust arms. And then can you lift your legs in the sky, locust legs? Breathing equanimously. Two more, complete the exhales. And relax down. Bend your right knee and hold your right foot. Bend your left knee and hold your left foot. Passive still currently. Relax your shoulders. Just your fingertips are active. Just your fingertips are active. And now kick your feet and breathe equanimously. Kick your feet and breathe equanimously. You can't reach your feet, you just lift them up or hold with a strap. And relax, release the grip, rest your body. Keep breathing equanimously, even length, slow, steady pace. Inhale, lift up your left leg, just hold your left foot with your left hand for a moment. Keep holding, bend your right knee, hold your right foot. The only thing that's working is your fingertips. Everything else is relaxed. Find your even breath and kick your feet. Kick your feet, keep holding on and breathing. Everything else is relaxed except for the kicking, the fingertips, and then the breath is steady.
and relax. Push up and push back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet slower. Forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Shift your weight into your left foot and let's take up our right foot, tree posture. Bring the right hand on the knee. Put the left arm in the sky. Equanimous breathing today. Finish your exhales. If it's available, you're gonna hold with your left hand, your right toe, so a crisscross. If you can't hold the toe, you're gonna to hold the knee. Holding the toe, you might kick the toe out a little bit and turn towards your thigh, the right. So you're turning to the right. And come back and release. Take the right foot down, take the left foot up. Put the left hand on the knee. Extend the right arm up. Breathe equanimously. If you're having trouble, just add the numbers. Count while you're in the pose. Practicing this steadily will have a huge shift on your mind state. Okay, with the right hand, you hold the knee, I bring it to center, or if you can, you hold the toe. Right hand holds the left leg. So it's available, you kick out a little bit and turn to your left. Breathe. Bring the ankle in and release the foot. Very good. Mountain pose, stand up tall. Have one or both blocks near the front of your mat. You'll grab it in a moment. And with the right foot in front, step the left leg back for triangle pose. So the legs are straight. And you're going to place the hand down the leg. You can put the hand on a block today since we're using them so much. And straight under the shoulder. And put the left arm in the sky. Triangle pose. Finish your exhales. Good, bend your right knee, and you can rock up. Put the hand in front of the foot, put your hand on the block, and lift your left leg up. You can keep your right knee bent. You can also put the block a little lower. It's actually a little bit more stable with a little bit lower. Left leg up, half moon. Good. If you put the left hand on your hip and try to roll your left shoulder open to the sky. Roll your left shoulder open to the sky. Good. All right, so you can bend your standing leg and come back into side angle pose. And then let's place our hands down, drop the back knee down. From here, you're gonna open the right knee out to the right slightly. So you can put your hands up on blocks. This gives you more room to let that knee fall open. It's kind of like pigeon. 
but it's a lot more intense actually. You're just letting the knee fall open a little bit. So hands up is a little bit easier. Hands on the ground a little bit more challenging. Just give that hip a second to open. Good, now let's go ahead and step on back to our forearm plank pose. You can do kneeling forearm plank or leg straight forearm plank. Breathe and tone the cord. Deep breathing. Almost there. And then drop your pelvis to the mat. Open your chest for Sphinx posture. Still breathing. You're training the mind to not wander, but consistent breath. Okay, before we go to our second side, tuck those toes again. You're going to lift up dolphin pose. That means downward dog, but your arms stay in forearm style. Push the shoulders towards your feet. Okay, come on down, and let's roll on up to standing. Right leg back for our triangle pose on the second side, having a block nearby for when you need it. Let's tip into our triangle pose. On this breathing, complete the exhale. There's that moment the, right before the inhale wants to begin where you can keep exhaling. It's in this moment that you get an extra burst of sharpness and clarity to your mind. You stay present for that continued exhale right before the inhale wants to start. Extra layer of embodiment. Bend the knee, and we're going to lift up into our half moon. You can keep the left leg bent, left hand on a block. Let's go ahead and straighten the right leg with our right hand on our hip. The right hand on the hip. Squeeze your shoulder back. And the left knee deep, and let's drop back into side angle pose. And if we're here, we're gonna, if we can, we're gonna try to go into what's called a, a turbo pigeon. You're gonna drop the back leg down, and it looks like a low lunge, but then you let the knee fall out to the left. So it's like low lunge where the knee tipped over. So it feels like a really strong pigeon. My left foot is turned open on the inside slightly. Good. When you're ready, you're going to step back, forearm plank. You can do this on your knees. You want to feel that core adjust and tone. One is breathing. Complete the exhale.
And let's drop our pelvis into the floor. We'll open our chest into sphinx. Really let the breath guide your practice. That extra moment, extra second or two of exhale, that keeps your mind present over this long period of time. You have to realize you don't have to focus on other things. You don't have to wander off. You can stay right here in the practice of feeling the body. All right, push down, dolphin pose, walk the feet in slightly, take downward dog on your forearms. Good, come on down to your knees and cross your ankles. Down to your knees, cross your ankles, and let's sit back. Practice some boat posture. You can use your blocks today for support. You'll place your blocks kind of near your hips, and you can put your hands on your blocks for a little bit of stability. You're sitting on the back edge of your sit bones, and then inhale, lift your shins about parallel with the floor. And more challenge, you straighten your toes towards the ceiling, straighten your legs. More challenge, arms in the sky. Good, let's place the legs down. They can be straight or semi-bent. And then inhale, lift up through your spine, staff posture. And then exhale, sit back, both posture again. This time, leave your heels on the ground. And we're going to try to bring our body lower to the ground. So, a low boat, Viking boat, catamaran boat, skimmer. If you're in the low boat, you'll feel your upper abs engaged. Now, if you squeeze your legs and just lift your toes about six inches, You'll engage the lower abs as well. Good. Lift the legs up and rock forward. Cross the ankles. Let's lift our arms up high to the sky. Just focus on stretching straight up through the back of your spine as much as the front of your spine. Keep breathing here. Let's drop our hands down in front, draping our body over our core. Inhale, come back up. Let's place the heels on the ground. We're going to pull back low boat, Viking boat, catamaran boat. Our gaze is about the height of our knees. If it's available, you lift the feet off the ground slightly. Reach the arms in the sky. And then bring the arms down by your sides, and you, or you can place them uh, behind your head. Bend your knees so your uh, shins are parallel with the floor and your knees are over your hips. Exhale, take your shins to the left, about 45 degrees. This is still a core work, but we're twisting. Inhale to center, and then take your shins about 45 degrees to the right. Inhale to center. You can make your legs a little straighter to increase the difficulty. Try to keep your knees together. 45 to the left, back to center. 45 to the right, 
Okay, so you got the instructions now with the breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Exhale, over. Inhale, center, and rest, feet together, knees open. Curl your forehead and shoulders off the mat. Knees open still. Bring your knees up and lift your shins so you can rock up to seated. Cross your ankles. Stretch your arms in the sky. Breathe. Exhale, place the hands down, drape your body over your core. And now I'm back up. Good. You have those blocks, place them next to your hips. Putting your hands on your blocks. With your legs crossed, you're going to try to push and get your butt to come off the ground. And then come back down. Okay, that might be enough. Just working on getting your butt off the ground while straightening your arms. If that's manageable, you're going to try to get your foot off the ground and then change the cross of your legs in the air. And then come back down. Okay, let's try one more time. Pretty good. Well, we're all there. Let's do another one. Now you're going to try and get your legs off the ground and actually take a full deep breath. <laughs> Here we go. Lift up, legs up, breathe. And back down. All right, we got one more. Legs up, cross the ankles, change, meaning change sides, and take a full breath. Last one, here we go. Lift up, breathe, change the ankles, inhale, exhale, back down. All right. Let's come back forward. Bend our elbows and let's lay on our bellies. Stretch your left arm straight out in front of you. Bend your right knee and hold your right foot with your right fingers. So again, the pose is very passive. The only thing that's working is your right fingertips. Now, roll onto your left side so your right leg is in the air. And gently keep holding on with your fingertips. Kick your right foot. Open your throat slightly and breathe. Don't forget about your exhale. Now keep holding on, and as you roll back onto your tummy, try not to let your right knee touch the ground.
Good, open the throat, lift your chest, keep holding on. And now relax. Very good. Put out your right arm, hold your left foot. Just work those left fingertips. And then roll onto your right side so your left leg's in the air. Looking to kick with the left foot, opening your throat slightly. We're going to need a little bit of condensing. Now remember, we're going to come back onto our tummy. You want to keep the left knee from touching the ground. Control movement. Lift up your chest and crown, and then release. Push up and push back. We're going to practice a kneeling twist. So find your blocks if you'd like. Place the blocks between your heels. If you can sit comfortably between your heels uh, with your hips, please do so. Take your left hand to your outer right leg. Take your right hand to your low back or the floor behind you. Focus now on your spine being perfectly vertical. And now squeeze your abdomen and turn like a barbershop pole. Change your arms. Focus on your spine being vertical. Squeeze your abdomen and turn like a barbershop pole. Back to center. Try to keep your left leg just as it is. And let's bring our right knee up until our right foot is flat on the floor. Inhale, right arm straight into the sky. And then exhale. Turn to your left. So you're turning away from the lifted knee. And now thumb down, hold the front of your shin, and turn to your left. Good. Come back up. Let's put that right knee back down and lift the left knee up. So just the second side. Same thing, second side. Inhale, left arm up in the sky. Reach out in front, turn the thumb down, and hold across the front of your left shin. 
turn to your right. Back to center. Let's rock on forward. Pigeon pose. Take your right knee forward and the foot across the body. Walk your left knee back. We're going to do a four eight as we wind down our practice for a one two, meaning the exhale is twice as long as the inhale. So if you can't do four eight, you could do three six or two four. I'm going to lead us through four eight. I really recommend you count along with me to help focus your own mind. Exhale the air. Inhale four. Exhale eight. Inhale four. Exhale eight. Inhale four. Exhale eight. Inhale four. Exhale, eight. Relax. Go ahead and push back to a neutral pose of your choosing. Notice if your mood has shifted. And let's go ahead and put the other knee in front. Second side pigeon. Another set of four eight. You can breathe at your own count if you wish, or follow along with me. Inhale four. Exhale, eight. Inhale, four. Exhale, eight. Inhale, four. Exhale, eight. Inhale, four. Exhale, eight. Roll on to your left side where the side of the knee is in front, and swing your back knee all the way around and over the front knee. So your knees are stacked on top of each other and your feet are out to the sides. Okay, this is called alternate nostril breathing. We're still gonna do four eight. Try to follow along. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to use your thumb and your ring finger to cover your nostrils when I cue it. Okay. So we're going to exhale. You're just going to cover the outer nostril when I cue it. 
Exhale through both. Let's just try around just to get the feeling, then we'll go into it. Exhale both. Cover your right. Inhale. Cover left. Exhale. Inhale, stay. Cover right, exhale. Inhale, stay. Cover left, exhale. Inhale. Cover right, exhale. Inhale through both. Exhale both. Change your legs. Let's do another round. Exhale both. Cover the right. Inhale four. Cover left. Exhale. Inhale. Right, keep your spine upright, cover right, exhale. Inhale. Cover left, exhale. Inhale. Cover right, exhale. Inhale. Cover left, exhale. Inhale. Cover right, exhale. Release your hand, breathe. Long exhale. As long as you can make it. Stretch out your legs and roll onto your back. Take your right knee up and over to your left. Take an inhale and then extend your exhale as long as you can. You can count just to help stay focused. Come back and twist to the other side, other leg. Take an inhale, 
and then take an exhale as long as you can make it. It's not about how much air you take in, it's about how slowly you let the air out. Back to center, stretch out your arms and legs. Take one final inhale, and then one final extended exhale, as slow as you can make it, as easeful as you can make it. Rest your body in your practice. Stretch.
and press up to a comfortable seat. Thank you. Namaste.